hot center challah, but your mom did six knots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, dude, coming no, out of the gates there's, on fire. There's there's no discrimination, but I would say if I had to uh, holla at, if I had to holla at your boy for only one of them, I would kick your mom's. No, uh, no disrespect. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, six is more than two. They both look nice. I feel like, like uh, the six could have downsides just as much too, because the six could have hey, more man. spots on the action. There's potential, whereas the two could probably have like a more even distribution of um, stuff Look around the whole scala, but uh, I mean, I'm not at both of those boys. You know I mean? Well, six knots is good for like uh, when you have multiple guests and you're like. You know, when you have what? When you have multiple oh, guests, yeah. yeah. So it's like we have like, you know, sure. fucking there. twenty people here. So like everyone gets a little right. bread. You know, cats can have a little, little bit of salami. Uh, and then uh, right, like, but so fix not uh, would be the best to make. But by yourself. Uh, but two knots two would be a best serving, yeah. No, two knots would be better for to make a sandwich out of or for less people. No, no, this third degree burns, you stay there, you rest, okay? I'll so like as soon as I can. The two is like it's it's like a ratio of how many people you're expecting to eat this bread. Like, oh we'll just do two knots, fuck it. It's just see. Yeah. And maybe the yeah, roommate. I guess, I guess I'll see <laughs> like I'll leave a piece out a little bat or whatever. This is it. Checkpoint. Gotta find hey, you got six knots. Your mom is popular as fuck. She's gonna have everybody over like, oh, I made the six knot collar, but he's fired by, by my man. Collar at your boy. Got you. Alright, so, so uh, should we talk about this movie? Uh, let's talk about both of these movies. Can you hear me okay? Uh, not really, but your he your new headphones just fucking suck. I'm fucking in true podcast fashion. I'm pulling up this fucking. I'm pulling up the fucking stream right now to see what I sound like. It's been a while. Are we broadcasting? Yeah. Just for fun. Cast. All right, let's see what this fucking bullshit sounds like. It's been a long fucking time, man. So we can't get like too serious or too deep. You know what I mean? I mean, we could. Podcast playing Days Gone. Oh, you know what? Have you remembered? Oh, look, you're raiding the car. Have you remembered to uh, turn down your um, game volume? Oh, I think oh, you did. You know what? Podcast. Podcast. I can, like, almost hear you better in the fucking, uh, All right, this is tripping me out. I can't listen to us in a fucking delay over the headphones. No, I know. I was I was just checking to see what it sounded like. But I sound okay to me on the thing. Maybe it's just your headphones, man. Never had a problem with these headphones before, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's because I was fucking laying upside down off of a roof painting your house to the day. Maybe. I Maybe. sound funny. Um, which movie would you like to talk about first? Because I like one of them a lot more than the other one. Uh, uh, talk about, let's talk about so both of them, man. The Just, which one do you want to start with? You so tell me. For, almost out. So for the listener at home, Steve and I both watched two movies, they the same movies. We both watched Jojo Rabbit, and we both watched after Jojo Rabbit, The Lighthouse. And uh, I like Jojo Rabbit significantly by a wide margin. The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse first, so... 
I think we should get Taylor to watch The Lighthouse and then wait for him to text us about how good <laughs> fucking Star Wars is. <laughs> Nah, dude, see, here's the thing, I know Taylor, and then Taylor would be like, man, The Lighthouse is an amazing movie, and he, 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 I know for a fact that Taylor would be like, man, the cinematography, and the fucking, the acting, and blah, 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 The Lighthouse is amazing, and this is what movies should be. Remember when they were dancing? It was beautiful. Oh, I thought someone was gonna jerk each other off. Oh, der, der, der. dude. All right. Um. So, like, I was actually thinking this while the movie he was still playing about an hour ago. I was like, man, if Taylor gets in these meme awards, he's definitely gonna say this is the movie of the year. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was like a terrible movie, but man, <laughs> boy, no, was it confusing I, as fuck. Dude, and it was, was it, like, it was so drawn out. Dude, so this movie, The Lighthouse, I will tell you one of my notes that I specifically wrote down because I wanted to tell you this, and I will read it verbatim to you. I have, I have two full sticky notes full of notes in like small font. All right, let's get into uh, let's it. See. I love how you prepare for this shit, and I'm just uh, like, I'm going to watch this shit and hope that Mark prepares for this shit. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna read this specific one once I find it. Um, let's see. Oh, so, if this film came out in, like, the 1950s, it would probably be, like, the best horror film of all time. Like, oh, probably. You know what I mean? Regarded today. Like, I did, like, halfway through, I realized, like, wow, this is, like, the movie made for lonely white dudes that are skipped being even lonelier white dudes. Like, this this movie is made for, like, these are 60s dude who is, like, a cattle farmer but then gets a job offer to go up to work at a lighthouse and he watches this and he's like, nope, not going to do it. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Was the movie like boxed in to you? Like it was. Yeah. I mean, that was the way it was filmed. I, I sent you that article about like yeah, the ratio. Yeah, I, I it was saw, like I one to one nineteen. So it was like, it was slightly bigger on one side, but it was basically a box. Yeah, it was so weird and like I saw that you sent me that and I was like I still felt like subconscious not subconscious but like I still felt like maybe something on my end was wrong, wrong because it didn't seem like it should have that boxed in because yeah, there but were it, entire if, scenes if there was one to one nineteen face was talking. I know I thought it, I actually kind of thought that was kind of cool like I was like they, they put like a camera up like old time you know, sake where they were like, "This is the best we can do." Like, we could put them at a smaller table, but this is, this is what we chose to go with. I thought that was kind of cool. No, I, I, after I understood it, after you sent me that, and I understood what was going on. Once I realized that, like, the file wasn't fucked up, because I thought the file was fucked up at first, because even the title card at the beginning had the edge off. So I was like, "What the fuck?" file fucked up is is four fucked up whatever and then after you sent me that i was like okay so that's just how they did it but like it still was like it 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 kind of took me out of it a little bit and i get that's the style they were going for but it was just kind of like annoying at times and then it was really annoying when they did really good shots like towards the end of the movie they had some really good shots of the entire person's face and shit and i was like well why couldn't they do this the whole time you know there was one scene where they had like robert pattinson and he was like running towards the camera but like water was splashing on him and it clearly yeah, looked it like he was like just he clearly looked like he was just running in place and people were like throwing buckets yeah, of water on him that annoyed the fuck out of me i was it was like there was this gif on uh reddit this morning of a dude doing the 100 meter hurdles 
but it was like a dead on view, like at his eye level from the finish line. So it seemed like he was just running towards the camera doing hurdles, but just bigger and bigger until he got to the camera. It kind of seemed like that. Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it, it was like weird, but practical effects aside, I did not like this movie, man. Um, there were some cool parts. Like I did, like it was creepy. I get, I, I liked how creepy it was. It was fucking weird how the dude jerks off twice, and, and every time he jerks off, he's jerking off to that weird mermaid statue from the beginning of the movie. I mean, like that was fucking weird. <laughs> it was, it was really <laughs> creepy at times. Um, I thought it was pretty fucking, funny when they like showed like a seaweed looking fucking vagina. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely was not the moment that I paused the movie to go to the store. I promise it wasn't. That's not where I. I promise. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, you were like, "I gotta go to the store." No, I got gotta go. I, I'm gonna text Steve and say I'm going to the store. I'm gonna go jerk off. I'm gonna watch the rest of this movie. <laughs> Dude, but like the second. The second time he jerked off, though, he was gonna bring him like, all in down, the, me. like, little where, or not our house, but, like, the little, like, shack by himself, jerking off, and then he bent Speed over, he looked all emaciated and shit. Um, alright, so. I'll read you my notes in the order that I took them down. Number one. Weird bird. Which we'll eventually get back to. One-eyed bird, yeah. Because... That was like the first like little part of the movie where you're like, oh well, uh, of course the, the description says uh, drama, thriller, horror, right? So it's like, okay, that's part of the thing. So we'll get back to the weird bird. And then my second note was, I have no idea what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> my third note is, can't stop thinking about the office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit made me laugh so hard when he said that to me because I was like, "Yeah, that's it, it basically what I'm like watching it. right now." It seemed it totally it seemed like it at first. Like, I I was like halfway expecting the movie to cut to like just some regular ass movie. Like that was like some found footage or some shit like that. You know what I mean? And it was just gonna totally cut to like whatever the movie was. And so about 15 minutes in, I was like, "Oh, this is the, what the movie is." Like fuck, I didn't. I didn't mind the cinematography of the movie. I thought it was actually like refreshing. Like, I thought the cinematography was good. I thought the acting was pretty good, but I thought the storyline was like, the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Definitely lacking. I feel like, like I said earlier, it was made for the fifties. Is how I feel like it looks. Like it, it was looks made like for was people who don't think the new Star Wars is a good movie. It was made for Taylor. Yeah. I don't know if Mike. I don't even know if Mike has seen the new movie yet. Speakers. Where the hell are the speakers? Spoiler alert. Um. So my next note is, old guy, definitely not weird. <laughs> That's sarcastic, of course, but. Um, Fucking Willem Dafoe's the shit, man. My ne my next quote is one of the quotes from the movie, which I actually like. He said, "Boredom makes men to villains." And I was like, "Wow, that that actually I I'm not making fun at all. That was like really fucking good quote." You're like, you're like Boredom that. Make, makes men to villains. That's why I host a podcast. <laughs> this podcast is making us into villains. <laughs> I, I really did think that was like a cool quote. And it's like, it was in the first third of the movie. It was in the first act of the movie. So it's starting to like build and 
like slowly gain momentum into what sword going to be, and then during his little monologue, he said that quote, boredom makes men to villains, and I was like, wow, that, that, that actually, like, struck me, I was like, wow, that's a really cool fucking long, I decided to write it down, but, um, next, um, food looked really shitty, man. Ah, uh, dude, that fucking scene where the food fell out of Willem DeVoe's mouth, I was like, what the fuck? Dude, he spit on him a couple times during a monologue, too. Oh, Did also, like, yeah, also he kept fucking farting, which was, like, kind of oh, funny to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, like, that was, he farted a couple times during the first, like, moment that Robert Pattinson got there. Excuse me. Um, well, he kept farting through the whole movie. It was, like, oh, yeah, there was yeah, a couple yeah. times I like, burnt, and I was just, like, what the fuck, man? Because... <laughs> Because they just did that back in the day. Like, oh, that's just a part of life. And then at the end when he's, like, losing his shit, like, and you're fucked. Hold on, I got the quote written down. Where is it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, where's the thing about the farts? Hold on, did I make another note? Wait, 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 wait. Doop, 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 doop. I'm sick of your goddamn farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that I'm shit was. I'm sick of your goddamn farts. <laughs> that shit was pretty fucking funny. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, dude, I fucking lost my shit. I had to pause the movie and write it down. I went to take a piss. I paused the movie. I wrote it down, and then I was like, "Fucking movies, pause. I'll take a piss and finish this movie." Oh man. <laughs> I, I really did not like this movie, so, like, overall, but there are some fucking funny and good The lighthouse wasn't even shit, like, he got burnt by the light of the lighthouse, but it, like, doesn't explain what it is, like, oh, it's some mystical shit. Alright, so let me go further down my notes, because I had some weird theories, um, as it was going on. Um, oh, uh, the first time the dude beat off, is the dude beating off, or is he a demon? I couldn't tell... If he was like a demon, like just like, uh, 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 or if he was beating off. Turns out he was beating off. Um, when he killed the seagull, that was pretty fucking brutal. He did it like maliciously. Yeah, he was like, bah, bah, bah. I was like, goddamn. That was after Willem Dafoe warned him too. He did it like defiantly. You know what? I'm my own man. Fuck this guy. I'm only here for another week. Let me kill the fuck out of the seagull that's been mean mugging me for two weeks or for a week now, you know what I mean? He, like, that was like some Once Upon a Time in Hollywood style beating of that seagull, man. <laughs> he pulled like a Brad Pitt or a Cliff Booth on that motherfucker, man. <laughs> but could you have been, like, back in the day, like, if you really caught that seagull that you Who's thought was fucking answer you'd probably fucking do the same thing right no yeah <laughs> fucking keep bugging the fuck out of you um my next note says horror is in the sh oh horror movies as a whole horror movies are in a shitty place right now I think this movie is kind of like a movie in the right direction for horror movies but I just think it was made for people like 50 years ago. Like this, this would be like a pretty good, like it would be, maybe they said it like back in the day and made it all shitty because it was too much like Shutter Island, you know? What I mean, do you mean? Because I kind of got, I got some Shutter Island vibes from this. So maybe that's why they made it like black and white and fuck it. With a shitty camera. Oh, maybe I don't know. Back that it's kind of like Shutter Island. I don't know. Jesus, this is a goddamn. Bike. That's a cool theory. I don't think that's what it is, but uh, probably not. I'm just fucking. <laughs> I'm just lobbing ideas around. Am I exhausting you? What else? Do you no, no. To say? Like, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to monopolize the conversation. I like hearing what you have to say, but. Okay, I'm uh, being insecure. I smoked a little bit. I, I 
good bit of weed while this is happening too. So I'm glad that I'm not the only one that didn't fucking think it was great. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought it was like cool for what it was, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Like I was, I, I watched it. Especially because you don't like big lumps of shit in your tea, right? I uh, like halfway through it, I was like, man, if Mark wasn't also watching this film, we'll talk about it later. Like I would not continue <laughs> to keep watching this. I can't lie to you. That was part of my motivation to finish it too, because when I texted you and said, I'm gonna take a break. And yeah, I can tell you weren't liking it at that time. Um. <laughs> My, well, my original text message, though, before I sent it, I edited it. My original text message said, I'm going to take a break to go to the store, but then come back and finish this movie. I wouldn't have done it. So I edited my text message to say, I'm going to take a break to go to the store and come back and finish this movie. So I committed to it because you were doing it. Well, I, I mean, it, it's definitely a... It's definitely fun for conversation that we did this. That's all I gotta say. Oh, but fuck yeah, dude. Um, sure. <laughs> outside of that, I definitely would have turned this shit off. But right. I, which is, but it's like a, a little frustrating to me for the just for the fact that it's like generally uh, a twenty four movies are pretty good, and I get it. They they make like the artsy movies for like the most part. So this was yeah, just an did, art. Uh, th this is just an art. Deal. This is just an artsy movie that didn't hit home, I guess, you know? Yeah, they so. did uh, Cloverfield, right? Uh, maybe back in the day. I can't remember. I know Cloverfield was a J.J. Abrams production. Yeah. I yeah. think A24 was involved with that. For some, it, it, I normally don't remember this thing, these kind of things about films, so I might be wrong, but it kind of seems like... Um, a24 was on their title cards for maybe or maybe it was 10 Cloverfield Lane I don't remember which one I think they were though but um I actually like 10 Cloverfield Lane more than Cloverfield to be honest oh me too dude. John Goodman is so fucking good in that movie yeah the fucking chick from uh the chick from Scott Pilgrim yep broke leg ass looking pretty face looking ass anyway um hey yeah, uh. Oh, shit. Shit, dude. Not my cup of tea either, but I can see where they were coming from, and I can see, like, who would like it, and I could see. I could see. Like, there were some really cool parts of the movie, but overall, I'd say it's not for me, but I. The merit in this kind of film because people don't do films like this very much anymore and it's cool to kind of see like it's almost like a it is definitely by definition a period piece and like a mystery thriller that like they probably is it's like an homage to old filmmaking oh it 100 like, percent is a homage well like, especially because they if if someone made a movie at the time that the style of this movie is emulating, they wouldn't have had such a complex storyline. So it seems really interesting to me to see like what an interesting storyline would be in the style of that kind of film, you know? Yeah. Like what what about that fucking mermaid? He finds a mermaid on the beach, dude. Like, that's one of my notes. Uh, my note well, says... He was drinking note, denatured oh, alcohol at that point. Like, they were drunk. They were okay. going insane so, from loneliness. So, two notes in a row. Is he drinking psychedelics? <laughs> and you... It, so, here's what it says. U-M-M space M-M-M-M space mermaid? <laughs> like, that's what I wrote down. I was like, um... <laughs> like what the fuck and then I started to realize he's going crazy and shit yeah but anyway like I would say there are definitely some like like I'm not mad that I watched this movie but I would not watch it again oh for sure I would never watch this again like I, I, I watched it and I was like man there's like interesting shit that happened and like it's confusing and it's got some cool acting cool cinematography 
Uh, but fuck, I'll never watch this movie again. Like, it's just not for me. Like, yeah, it it was cool for cool-ish, I would say, for one watch. Outside yeah, of that, I'd say, I'd say like, maybe like ten minutes less. Maybe ten minutes chopped off of the movie would be a little bit better. Um, what is, what is the actual light of the lighthouse supposed to be, though? Because the the movie kind of makes it seem like something supernatural is going on. Then you realize he's crazy. Then it makes it seem like something supernatural. Then he's crazy. Then at the end, when he looks in the lighthouse, he gets all burnt and shit. So he doesn't get he doesn't actually get burnt. Because I like I read that. Uh, what I like to do after movies sometimes is like re read the Wikipedia to make sure that what I comprehended was what was actually like supposed to be like comprehended. You know. Like and, all the time. And, uh, yeah, like all the time. Um, <laughs> he, uh, basically, he just, like, stared at the lighthouse and he was just, like, insane and he just, like, screamed and then, like, slipped and fell down the stairs. Like, he was just, like, like, basically, he's, like, insane and he was, like, going euphoric for a second. He's, like, oh, it's so bright and he fell down the stairs. Oh, it looked like his eyes were burning. So. Maybe I projected that on me. I got, um, oh, for uh, a hot minute during movie, I thought I had an idea that he was really crazy the whole time and that uh, um, um, Willem Dafoe's character was really him in the future. And he was experiencing a vision of what he would be like if he was that lighthouse guy. See that would have made then, it, that would have made the movie better. And then it showed a vision of himself, actually himself, in the future. And then I was like, "Oh, well, there goes my fucking theory." <laughs> <laughs> and then I got oh, uh, this is a good note. This is a positive. The credits looked like um, the credits from like an old school video game. Did you know it? Yeah, they did. They looked like um, you get the high score on like uh, uh, Space Invaders or some shit like that. I thought that was cool. Oh, <laughs> I wish I had a steak. I want a steak. If I had a steak, I'd, I'd fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're saying you, you don't like my cooking? <laughs> say which you is, like my cooking. Say it. <laughs> which is also funny because they're eating like lobster every day. Uh, you don't like my lobster? You don't like my lobster, lad. Say you like my lobster. Say it. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, the, and then afterward. <laughs> All right, fine. Have it your way. I like the lobster. <laughs> Like, I thought this was a horror movie. I was laughing my ass. <laughs> Dude, we need to watch some new movies together sometime, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's get Taylor to watch this shit, and then he'll be talking to us about how Ray shot lightning out of her fingers and shit. <laughs> oh, Dude, my God. I, just, I just know that fucking Taylor would have liked this fucking film. Oh, yeah, I know that... Oh, I already said that during this podcast, but yeah, his this would be his movie of the year, probably. Yeah, let's recommend it to him. See what he thinks about it. I'll text him right now. I already texted him earlier. I was like, "Hey, man, you seen a <laughs> you seen the lighthouse yet?" I'm about to text him right now. Hey, hey you. Should check out this movie. Oh, should I call it a film? Probably. Hey, you should check out this film. The Light House. I think you would dig it, homie. Hey, 
And with that segue, you think we should talk about some Jojo Rabbit? I think that's about as much about the lighthouse that we should talk about. Let me just think. Uh, let me just uh, um, excuse me. Oh, uh, so the second time he had a vision about a mermaid, she stuck her finger in his mouth. I thought that was pretty hot. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I did too, but I was like, okay. For a second, I thought that the old guy, instead of being um, himself in the future, I thought that he was possibly like the embodiment of the sea, like Poseidon. And that's why he was like, if you can kill a seagull, it'll make the wind change. And then he killed the seagull, make the wind change. And then that guy was like Poseidon or some shit. And that's why all the bad shit was happening. But then that was uh, disproven. Um, oh, uh, this movie is a fucking long episode of the Twilight Zone, dude. Like, after I got back from the and was watching for a little bit, I wrote this down. This is a long-ass fucking episode of The Twilight Zone. Like, they could have cut to the chase. This this should have been featured on, like, a collection of shit. Like, maybe Black Mirror or something, you know? That's how, how I kind of felt. Like, this could be, like, a really great, like, 45-minute... Taylor. Taylor just story. texted me. Let's see what he said. <clears throat> The dude jerked off the second time, cross that off. What does he say? He's like, I have not had the chance to see this yet. Did you see did you just do a double feature or something? I'm glad to hear JoJo was great. Alright, well let me see what he said to me. Did you and Steve go to see this in tandem or did y'all both pirate and watch? Alright. What do we both say? What did yours say again? I said I did, but at home, and I think you would really like <laughs> the lighthouse. So that's exactly ver verbatim what you just typed in. Yeah. I I did, but at home. Say the rest. I he said, uh, did you do a double feature or something? I'm glad to hear JoJo no, 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 was no, no. great. Just and I said I did, but at you. home. I think you would really like the lighthouse. No, 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 but tell, like, tell me like verbatim, like commas, punctuation, everything. I'm gonna send him the same thing that you sent him. I'll do you one better. For the listener at home, I just took a screenshot, and I'm sending. No, it dude, just, 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 just tell me because it'll be harder for me to look back and forth. Nah, I'm not doing that. You know, you know how I write. They have, they, they has raspberries. <laughs> oh, so it's two separate messages. That's good. And I think you really would really like the lighthouse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> And I think you really. <laughs> I also followed it with a saying, you know what I'm saying. Would. <laughs> Would really. Like. The, <laughs> like. <laughs> no, not the locked. Dude, what is up with this fucking phone? <laughs> I mean, Taylor's not dumb. Within... 10 seconds from now, he's going to realize that we're talking to each other and texting him at the same time, but I still think it's kind of funny. Um, don't spill your beans. That was a funny part of the movie. Oh, you've gone <laughs> and spilled your beans. <laughs> oh, yeah, after he told them that he basically killed that other guy. Mermaid sticks finger in. Blah blah blah. Um, I wish that mermaid would have stuck his her finger in his ass though. That would have made the movie truly special. 
for some reason, I have written down dog, exclamation question, exclamation question. Dog as in the bounty hunter? No, no just dog as in like dog. D O G. Art. Oh, um, another note. They were singing and bonding, which was the classic movie, like horror thriller trope of like, oh, oh yeah, now they're bonding, so the good guy trusts the fucking evil guy. <laughs> they're all dancing around the table together and shit. See ya. So, um, I don't know why I have the word dog written down. Was there a dog in the fucking movie? I don't remember there being a dog, but if you say so. Me either. I, I just have the word dog written down with an exclamation question, exclamation question. I'm not going to watch the movie again to see if I am justified in um, having that written down. So, you don't remember, it's not worth it then. Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> Let's talk about some Jojo Rabbit, man. Yeah, I don't Jojo. Have quite as... Sorry. Jojo Rabbit was fucking weird, man. It started off so fucking funny, but it had such a tonal shift towards the end of the movie. I kind of felt like it was more of a gradual shift. Like they I still mean, tried to put in jokes it, along the way. I it was a it was a it was a gradual shift, but like. At the beginning of the movie, I was like laughing my ass off at some of the shit that they were doing, and like yeah. the way that fucking TD, Tiki Watiti was uh, acting as Hitler and stuff like that. Like, and then towards the end of the movie, I'm like, oh shit, they like hung his mom, and like, oh shit, like, you know, this happened. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. They hung Scarlett Johansson. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> Nobody hates Scarlett. She's all doing shit. Nobody hangs Skylar Johansson. She's like, hang me harder, hang me harder. <laughs> Nobody hangs fucking Black Widow. <laughs> oh, oh, I killed a huge spider today, I already told you, but just for the little listener at home, I killed a huge spider at work. It was probably the size of a quarter, like his body. It was all like disgusting and spider. But anyway, um, I thought. The opening sequence of the movie was fucking hilarious. Oh my god, um, <laughs> I was laughing my ass off, dude. Fucking before it explains that Adolf Hitler is just a memory and her like an apparition in his head, and he's just running through the whole town like Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler. Dude. Hey, good morning, Hal Hitler, dude. Dude, that's <laughs> <laughs> that How that fucking that scene. Funny is that? Well, that scene when they went to go fucking like raid his house to find Jews, and <laughs> there was like seven motherfuckers in the room, and they're all like, "Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler." Oh, good afternoon, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon to you, sir. Hal Hitler, Hal Hitler. Oh uh, shit, man. God, dude, that was. But see, I, that's why. That's what I meant when I gradual shift in serious because that's even after his mom died or no it's right before his mom died I right think, before yeah but, yeah yeah so like, even though it's like getting more and more serious in the events of what's happening in the movie the tone seems to like lean towards that comic relief even through the serious shit you know what i mean i loved it i loved how it was like it would just take you right out of it like even at the end when um who the fuck? Um, the guy that you texted me, Sam Rockwell. Even though at the end, Sam Rockwell's being all serious and he takes a jacket off of the boy, he was still being like super funny in that scene, like right before he took it off, you know? Yeah. But I liked how he didn't let it get serious. It was like, <clears throat> a good time. It, it kind of made me feel uncomfortable <laughs> that they were making such a good time out of it at some points. <laughs> Dude, that uh, fucking Rebel Wilson was like fucking hilarious in that. Dude, that's my <laughs> fucking main. That's the biggest font of any of my notes on here. Rebel Wilson is the fucking perfect person in this film. And then Dude, I wrote she, that. She, <laughs> they a were, couple minutes into the film. 
Skull. Scarlett Johansson was like, yeah, let him go to the front lines. Give him a pistol while you're at it. She's like, here's your backpack and here's your, <laughs> <laughs> here's your pistol. Dude, at the end when she gives the fucking kid the fucking thing with the grenade on the back, she's like, go run, run at those fucking scum. And then she grabs a big ass machine gun. Ah, you fucking uh, enemy scum or whatever she says just jumps out and then everyone gets blown up like, damn. Like, she was, like, like, she seemed, like, convincing as fuck in that role. Like, she looked like that German lady. You know what I mean? Like, I, I fucking it really enjoyed her being in this movie. It was, it was really cool. I was like, holy shit, Rebel Wilson, man. Yeah, man, she's fucking, she's pretty fucking funny. I, I think that was, like, the perfect person to put in that role, man. Like I told Dude, how funny was that fucking montage at the beginning where fun. Sam Rockwell is like, and they say someone with one eye can't shoot like this, like this, like this, <laughs> like this. But what about the fucking other montage at near the end of the... I, I have the word montage written down in big font also. The fucking montage. And then at the end of the montage, it's like Germany has gone to shit and the kid's like... Dragging a cart through the streets and shit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like that. Yeah, that movie was good. And the uh, person they, uh, the, the girl who played the the Jew was pretty funny too. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> Fuck, should I stop writing notes and we can just talk? Because I keep referring to my notes. I sound, I, I feel like I sound like a douchebag. I like the notes, to be honest, but... To the listener at home, I don't want to be... Um... Um, where is it, where is it, where is it? Always needs to oh, um... Yeah, I'll just go for my notes. Then. Um, where is it? Right. This has got to be the... Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, so the Hitler apparition is like, and now he's got two knives. <laughs> How are you going to chop her up now? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps giving her knives and shit. Basically. Yeah. Uh, th that um, was pretty funny. I also like when he like dove out of the window for no reason. Yeah, that was near the end, right? <laughs> No, 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 that was when he kicked yeah, a, him out of the window. I was talking about when he, like, dove out of the window. He's like, alright, ta-ta for now, and he just, like, dove out the window. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> Bye, Hitler. <laughs> so, um, I liked how they did the old-school Nazi font. <laughs> like, because, I mean, shit, you're, you are you got to commit all the way if you're going to make a movie like this. It has the old-school Nazi font, and... I noticed immediately at the yeah, beginning in the opening seats of the movie that the, the song button. was I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles, but sung in German. And I thought that was pretty fucking cool and pretty fucking funny. Because I had some <clears throat> knowledge, kind of, of what this movie is about before I watched it. Yeah. And so I thought that was pretty fucking funny that they did a German version of the Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Like, it's Fuck such an innocuous Ugh. song and such a light spirited and light toned song for the subject. So, the fact that they it was that made my heart smile like, wow, I've been going for it, man. <laughs> and then, of course, afterwards, we're taken on the ride. I fucking, yeah, I, I really liked it. Let's see. Um, oh, uh, when they went to the camp in the beginning. One of those Nazi dudes, the dude that grabbed the rabbit and gave the uh, Jojo, that dude kind of looked like Tillian Pearson. I thought. Oh yeah, I don't remember that. that I thought that so. Well. Let's see. Rhin octopuses. That was pretty, pretty funny. Adolf Hitler's like. So what if you're a rabbit? There's all kinds of stuff like rhinoceroses and octopuses. <laughs> Rhinoctopuses. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> <Rhinoctopus. laughs> 
uh, that scene where uh, Scarlett Johansson like put that fucking like uh, ash on her face to like act like his like fucking dad. I was like, this is pretty weird and also kind of funny. Dude, when she first put the ash on and turned around and she yelled at him for a second, I thought she was gonna beat the shit out of him like for a half second. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, she's about to beat the shit out of him, and then she like got nice. I was like, wow. It totally seemed like she was like, oh, you want your dad? And she put the, the shit on her face, and she's like, all right then, blah 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 blah. And I thought she was gonna hit him too, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mark's childhood trauma coming, coming in hot. You want your, you want your dad, motherfucker? Pow! <laughs> Listen to your mom, pussy. <laughs> I did have a little jump when he first found the Jewish girl, though. I was like, oh, oh shit. Like, you can totally see that it's leading up to that, but, like, it still was, like, kind of freaky. And then he jumped and I jumped. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he jumped and I jumped. We all jumped. I just my hand up on my head. Then I did, you did move it. Let's see if I can see him. Ooh, I got a spiked baseball bat now. Ooh, look at you. So yeah, totally uh, Jojo Rabbit over the lighthouse, for sure. Oh, for sure. I mean, I they're not, not even the same kind of fucking films, but... Uh, yeah. Overall enjoyment level, Jojo Rabbit, for sure. I, um, I'm actually glad that you... Uh, convinced me to not not even convinced but just gave me the suggestion to watch this because it was I was just happy that you watched like two fucking movies that I and we got to fucking sit down and talk about them so this has been fun let's yeah, do this great. again <clears throat> even if sometimes they're dog shit movies because <laughs> I mean normally I would have just sat here and fucking and did like whatever and putzed around in some game that I've already beaten. Well, it was pretty fun. It was like cool with the goal knowing that like I was gonna talk to you about it. For sure. Oh, um, also in Jojo Rabbit, the German Shepherds. The dude literally brought German Shepherds to the place and <laughs> fucking Sam Rock was like, oh no, I meant the other German Shepherds, but good initiative, man. <laughs> And then later on, the German shepherds were actually fighting in the town too. Dude, how fun! How fucking funny is Sam Rockwell, though? I admit it's a pretty shitty name for a dog. Good intentions, though, man. <laughs> that's, I think that's what he said. He's like, I admit, pretty shitty name for a dog. <laughs> German shepherd. I like no, how he's like. Great, man. I like how his pep talk to the to the kid was like. <laughs> He was like, your mom was a great lady. She was, she was. Now get out of here, you yeah. dirty <laughs> Oh my god. And Sam Sam Rockwell, like... I, he's just so good in, like, almost everything. Even if it's, like, a B-list movie, like, he makes that shit good. Dude, um... Right... The movie Moon is. I was like, just gonna say that, dude. The movie Moon is so fucking good, dude. That in like, uh three three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Holy shit, that's a good movie. This is so so fucking good, and he's so good at it. No spoilers. No spoilers, please. Write that shit down. I haven't seen it in a year, but write that shit down, and we can and you can tell me about it and re jog my memory. That would be fun. That's what I'm talking. about. Oh, so I got some movies to cross off. Lighthouse, Jojo Rabbit, I still gotta watch Doctor Sleep and the Uncut Gems. Uh, Uncut Gems is not gonna be out for a while. That just got to theaters like today. But oh, Jesus. Oh. In shape. Well, they already have The Rise of Skywalker with Chinese subtitles, so sure. we'll But that being said, uh yeah, if you you should watch uh three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri and uh you should rejog my memory about that, cause that was a fucking great watch, and uh, 
I remember oh, liking it a lot, and I would I haven't seen it in like a year, so I'd love to hear your take on it. <laughs> yeah, I will do. Next cast. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking um. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, um. Shit. Yeah, I lost it, man. I lost it. I was to say something. We just got one I'll viewer. Like, he lost it. <laughs> I lost the guy. Whoever you are. Um, yeah, man. Let's uh, whenever let's coordinate another podcast. I'll watch a movie uh, on the same day and take notes. All right. I'm down. Hell yeah. Damn, dude, you run out of fucking fuel quick in this game, huh? Yeah, you gotta like replenish your fuel and stuff, man. For the listener at home, my man Steve is playing Days Gone. And the reason the game is called Days Gone because every single day you wake up in the game, it counts how many days it's gone. gone. <laughs> every day you wake up, a day is gone. <laughs> yeah, but now with zombies, so we restarted it from zero once the zombies got here. So did you like run around? St. John to Copeland's uh, camp. It's done. Like, Take out three lockdowns. Copy that. You may not see the value of the St. John. Are you talking to me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're kind of. kept kind of cutting out for a second. Try going hungry for three days. God damn it. Dex, yeah, check. Am I good? It sounds like you're good now. So have you like run around and killed some creatures with like stealth kill and stuff? Uh, not. I've killed a bunch of creepers with a bunch of different ways so far. What day do you start out on days gone? Like 7:30 something like that. 7:38 is what I'm at now, so it's got to be something close to that. took me two and a half years to fuck up my motorcycle. <laughs> oh, and the last thing about Jojo Rabbit is the dance. Huh. I thought it was pretty cool how they danced at the end. Like, yeah, me too. Show the whole dance. I just thought it was cool because I was like, again, with a total shift. <laughs> Dude, do that uh, drawing at the beginning of the movie when they're at that camp, and uh, it says "Dare Jude," and, and Rebel Wilson is like pointing at it, and it's like a fucking clearly like a goblin of some sort. I don't know why, but that shit made me laugh so fucking hard. I was like, "This is so stupid! It's so stupid, man." <laughs> <laughs> it's just so dumb. I loved it. <laughs> I know what you're saying, man. That shit is hilarious. They, were, they fucking, they fucking asked the kid in the room, "What's this? This book? Blah blah blah." And the kid yeah. was like, "It's mine." It says, uh, it's like, oh, look, this one, what, this what is the, what does the, the book say again? It says, uh, it's you a, who, Jude? <laughs> 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 you who, Jude? <laughs> oh, look, this one has horns. Oh. <laughs> It's <laughs> so stupid, man. I loved it. But it was it was so it was so tense though, like the whole fucking Oh movie yeah, was for so sure. Tense. It was so fun. Uh it wasn't like Inglorious Bastards tense. It was tense like, like how are they gonna joke their way out of this? You know what I mean? But it was fucking great. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what? What is this? You who, Jude? You who, Jude? God, man. But uh, the dude let her go, though. He fucking knew she was a Jude. Because she got her own birthday wrong on the papers, and he let yeah. her go. I was like, that's cool. He knows what's up. He's not a hateful person. He's just like, who's being a military dude? Like, ah, whatever. I would just listen to his F.E.R. Oh, y'all. Do y'all know what I'm saying? That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Burn, you asshole. Who the fuck else is out there? What's that? I said, what the fuck Almost else is up, man? Christmas tomorrow. Podcasting tomorrow. Minecraft. Annual Minecraft. Should we, uh, actually podcast tomorrow? Hell yeah, man. Why not? We'll do it for the Judes. All the Judes out there. Well, except for Jude Law. I don't like that Jude. But, um, all the rest of the Judes podcasting tomorrow. Just for the podcast, Christmas edition. I'm hit! I'm hit! Damn, I keep dying in this Imagine game. I, su long... I suck. <laughs> no, dude, you'll be fine. Just get used to it. Maybe adjust the difficulty. But, um,. Imagine how long it would take to fucking hit Bruce, if we just you only awake? fucking played on Christmas. That cap <laughs> north of the we'll never finish it. We'll die. Uh, I heard gunshots. I don't want to. Uh, might be an ambush camp. Just pit before I die. Find out when I get there. Take it out. Bruce, man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Damn. What did I do? It's all my fault. We could have had like a sprawling metropolis. You can have by now. <laughs> With all the time we spent. It's all my fault. Jeez, Mark, way to go. Burn, you asshole. It's all my fault, man. Hey, I told you um, earlier that someone gave me weed yesterday that I don't need to name who it is, but that was just pretty good. Uh, yeah, man, I hear he does a lot of construction. That's hilarious. I hear he does a lot of remodeling. Maybe the person that tells you about what he does is fucking... Maybe he paints houses, man. Oh, get it? The Irishman? Oh. Oh, so I hear you paint houses. Yeah. Yeah, I do a little bit of carpentry, too. Oh, talk, 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 talk. Yeah, but, uh, the weed is... The weed, uh, got it. It's good, man. Not complaining at all about it. I want to smoke, but I'm still a little froggy from... Getting, uh, getting sick, you know? Yeah. Uh, I hopped a huge green fucking loogie out of my throat. That's when I was sick and did not abstain from smoking a sick I don't know, man. It's like, for me, it's like, as soon as my fucking throat gets all, like, scratchy, I'm like, I need to do without this. Yeah, well, you're a gentleman. I fight through it like a warrior who, who doesn't uh, have any, like, uh, foresight. I wish I was a warrior. Don't get me wrong. Still playing Death Stranding, just like kind of putzing around. <laughs> Do not feel like playing anything else yet. Are you not finished with that game yet? No, I platinum did and everything. I've just been putzing around, doing like random shit that I just hadn't finished or whatever. Like it's there's like no point, but it's still fun. Just kind of like putzing around. I'd be more productive playing, like digging the pit in Minecraft, basically. But I still like doing this for whatever reason. But for
for however long we've been talking, I've just had the game on the pause menu, uh, <laughs> waiting to turn the volume for the game down. So now I've finally turned the volume for the game down. So That's hilarious. So I can actually, yeah, I can actually play it now though. Because I unpaused it a minute ago, and I was like, oh wait, that's why I paused it. It still sounds kind of loud, even at 15% volume. But... Just for fun, podcast. Put my homies up with some air horns and stuff. Oh, so you want to hear something funny? I went back to the store to buy a uh, French onion dip. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mount. That's the whole funny thing. Well, uh, I meant like because earlier I I was talking to you and I was like left the store. Yeah, and I was like I'm not going, I'm not going back. But then I I was like I'm going back. I think I was on my app then. No, I wasn't. I was after I was on my app. So I was paying house from the top of the room, leaning over yeah, yeah, on my app. That so was after that, though, but I was like, hey, hey, he's going to go back. Here you go back for your French onion dip. So you had your heart set on it. You're like, oh, man, I didn't get my French onion dip to have a snack on before dinner. Well, his heart is set. He's going to get that French onion dip. I don't want to it. It's a good fucking dip. I got the yeah, Cape Cod chips too, it. man. It's Extra good. crunchy wavy oh. chips. Wavy? Or, yeah. Uh, kettle cooked. Wavy. I like the kettle cooked one. Yeah. More. Man, right up to the salt well, the wavy are kettle cooked, but they're like extra thick for like dipping, and they're so they hold dip better. We're heading north as soon as you can run. I like a good fucking just regular ass kettle cooked thin potato chip from Cape Cod. Salt and pepper is the best. The vinegar one's not that bad, but the salt and pepper, mm -hmm. that'll hold a dip, man. That's like one of those chips that like by the end, you're like getting dip on your knuckles and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking knuckle dip over here. Look like a damn dirty ape. Just dip all over my knuckles. Hey, so we're probably both riding a motorcycle right now in each respective game that we're playing. I am riding a mo motorcycle. How'd you know? Because the day's gone. My motorcycle just ran out of gas, so that's pretty cool. I have no idea. I'm in the woods. Go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, oh, dude, it's so humiliating when you have to go to a camp and tell him to retrieve you your bicycle for you. Uh, no, I'll, like, I'll fucking ride, walk my bike all the way back. I mean, we got about an hour. There's, 
like tons of shit we can talk about, I just feel like. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. You gotta wait till your whole brother. Ooh, I'm going down a mountain here. I might be able to coast this bike down for a second. Oh, I'm fucking wolf got me. Fuck you, wolf. <laughs> Whenever you can successfully coast down in the mountain, though, that's a good feeling. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, no fuel. No fuel use. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dick. Ah, gasoline, motherfucker. You found some? Alright. Can I get an air horn for gasoline? I mean, does it not so for you? <laughs> I don't know, I've never done it. So as a motorcycle rider, how do you feel this game encapsulates the uh, lifestyle of riding a motorcycle? Very poorly. <laughs> how so? <laughs> because I don't zig and zag this much on a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> Is that old Latrobe? Oh, wait, don't you know? For the listener at home, go back and watch episode 101 or Just for Fun Podcast. You can see me play this game, kill a bunch of motherfuckers while Mike and I talk about getting in fights. I think I blew in a beard bottle on that one, too. That was a while ago, man. It's been a long time since like 15 podcasts ago. You know? I mean, I was still playing Days Gone. Oh, Jesus, why are we? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I yeah, I'm
you know, I'm saying. You listen to this podcast, just hang out. I'm going to just hang out. Alright. Not really. And this, ladies and gentlemen, has been episode 116 of Justice for Fun Podcast, brought to you by Matt Bird. They put this to choose in Massachusetts. Never put the pair. <laughs> Anyone uh, or anything in particular you'd like to shout out, Steve? Fucking, uh. Bud Ice for being the most disgusting beer I've ever drank. Shouts out to Bud Ice for not touching my gullet for like at least two and a half years now. So happy. It's so funny because, like. In my mind, the podcast is over, but I don't know if it's actually really over yet. It's not over yet. I, I'm in a mission. <laughs> Dude, just pause the game, man. It's not online. But, Mom, you don't understand. It's an online game. You can't pause it, bro. I only have 14 rubber bullets left in my rubber assault rifle. I need to get a new rubber assault rifle. How rude.